I'm an Armenian, a member of Turkey, and an Anatolian to the marrow. These were the words of Hranti, who we are gathering here tonight to commemorate. He was a Turkish Armenian journalist who was assassinated by an ultranationalist racist teenager on January 19, 2007. He was a brave man, an intellectual, an advocate of human rights, minority rights, and democracy. As we look around, the phrase that sticks out is Buradayez Akhbari. Buradayez Akhbari. What does that mean? Buradayez means we are here, Turkish. Akhbari means brother. Because he was our family. Someone whose passing really pained us to see go. Assassinated in front of his newspaper, Argos. Haran's death is stood to represent more than the anger and frustration of one lone nationalist teenager. His silencing represents the ongoing struggle of writers, intellectuals, and thinkers from discussing ideas freely because of laws such as Article 301. On numerous occasions, he was threatened with jail time because of this law. But his determination and inspirational attitude stood out when he fought back, saying, I will not be silent. As long as I live here, I will go on telling the truth. Hrant didn't purely express his beliefs. He did not insult mine or anyone else's Turkishness. The bullets that shot him killed democracy and the freedom of speech once again in Turkey. He spoke and protected the minorities and the shattered people of the entire world. Hrant's writing did not attack any religion or ethnicity. However, it was an attack on the extreme nationalism established across Turkey, which has been the politics of the government for many years, oppressing other ethnic and religious groups across the country. When one thinks of the silencing of Haram and the limits to freedom of speech, one may make the link to Charlie Hebdo, but I beg you to avoid this mistake. Haram did not seek to offend any minorities. Haram did not actively look to alienate sections of society. He wanted change, positive change. He valued all lives equally, the Armenians, the Turks, the Kurds, the Alevis, the Sunnis, the Shias, the Greeks, the Jews, the Circassians, the Yazidis, the Laz, the Azerbaijanis, the Assyrians, the Turkmen, the Arabs, all people of Turkey, all people of Anatolia, all people of the Middle East, valued them all. The Kurds and the Armenians have been oppressed and treated as second-class citizens for many years, forcing thousands and millions to flee out of Turkey. Not just Hrant, Dink, but Turkish and Kurdish journalists have also been the targets of the system. It is unacceptable for people such as Hrant, who have risked their lives for a better and for a more equal Turkey, to be named as national traitors. Now, because of him, one is able to go to Turkey. One is able to speak about taboo subjects such as the Armenian Genocide. One is able to go to seminars, universities, lectures, conferences, because one man said no to being scared into silence. My favorite saying of Hrant Dink depicts exactly how the fundamental problem can only be addressed with active contact and cooperation. He said, we are two sick nations, the Turks and Armenians in our relations. Who is going to heal us? The remedy for Armenians is Turks, and the remedy for Turks is Armenians. Our medicine? Dialogue. A state which does not accept its history is bound to have its history repeat itself. It has been eight years since Hrant was murdered, and still those responsible are not to trial. And still many journalists and writers are being imprisoned and attacked on a daily basis in Turkey. Hrant was not just a hope for the Armenians, but he was a hope for the Turkish and the Kurdish people in Turkey especially for the democratization of Turkey as a whole, for a better system which recognized and upheld the values of freedom of speech and the freedom of the media. He will forever be enshrined in Istanbul as it was confirmed uh, very recently that the Bakırköy district uh, will dedicate a street in his name. Hrant Dink, unfortunately and very tragically, is not lo no longer with us, but his undying le legacy will live amongst the hearts of all of us forever. If we truly admire Hrant Dink, let us honor his values, let us all plow seeds on our soil and cultivate Hrant's legacy. I would like to end with a quote from Hrant Dink's wife, Raquel Dink, which stated, I can speak three languages, Armenian, Kurdish and Turkish. These three are never in conflict within me and they continue to coexist in peace. Therefore, with the unity of our people, we will continue the struggle for a truly democratic Turkey where we coexist in peace. And so for we stand here today to recognize we are the same. Armenian, Kurd and Turk, our cultures, our food, our music, family values, we're all the same. We stand up against nationalism, against his silencing, for our brother who led the way, we can truly say, Murad Zahbari. Thank you.